All right, last part of the lesson. This will be much faster than the last one. Less writing it won't take me as long to struggle and write. Um, so we learned in Mendel. So Mendel has a law of dominance, um, which states that the dominant allele, one of the alleles, is dominant, and it masks the recessive allele. There are some traits that are exceptions or inherited differently, um, and where there is actually is no dominant allele. Um, and when that's the case, when no allele is dominant, um, the inheritance is either called incomplete dominance um, or co-dominance. Um, and so we're going to learn the difference between the two. So um, in incomplete dominance, um, there's no um, recessive allele. Um, instead, if you have um, two different alleles, um, they're going to produce an intermediate phenotype or a blend um, of the two phenotypes. So for example, in flowers, um, if the trait exhibits incomplete dominance, and they have to say that it exhibits incomplete dominance, if you have a flower with a red allele and a flower with a white allele, instead of producing, instead of red being dominant over white, if it has incomplete dominance, it's going to blend and produce a pink flower. Notice that there are no lowercase letters, because in this case, nothing is dominant. So, sort of in this, and I, they always have to tell you um, that the trait is going to be incomplete dominance. They'd have to tell you that. Um, so here, and this trait exhibits incomplete dominance, which it should say. Um, so when a mouse with black fur, so the only way to be black fur um, is to be big B, big B if it's incomplete dominant. Okay. And is crossed with a mouse with white fur. So W, W, remember this is incomplete dominant, so there's no recessive alleles. What will be the phenotypic ratio for the F1 generation? So if we fill out the Punnett square, BW, 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 BW. Um, what do you? I mean, it's kind of obvious, but um, what do you think? BW, if you have bl blue and uh, sorry, black and white, and it's in, in having in its incomplete dominance, um, black and white will blend to produce a um, gray color. So that means 100%. Um, I don't really care about the ratios here. 100% um, of them will be gray. Because there's no uh, uh, recessive allele, so instead of um, black overcoming white, they blend to produce gray. Um, so here's just another problem. So what is the expected phenotypic ratio, and I don't really care that much about the ratios in this case, of the F1 generation when a gray mouse, so we have a gray mouse, okay, and a gray mouse is going to be BW, okay, and we're crossing the gray mouse with a white mouse, so that's going to be WW. Okay, so BW, WW, BW, and WW. Okay, so if you were going to say the ratios here, these two, with the black and white alleles, they're going to be gray, so 50% will be gray, and these two, um, WW, 50% will be white. Okay, so codominance... Um, is similar to incomplete dominance. Um, th there's no dominant allele, once again, except instead of seeing a blend, um, you get both colors. So in, in, this, if, if in the mouse, um, instead of getting a gray mouse, you would get a mouse that's black and white or black with white spots or something like that. Um, so co-dominance is, is sort of the same thing. There's no dominant allele, but instead of getting a blend, um, you see both phenotypes. So again, with the flower example, if we have a red allele, uh, for flower color and a white allele, instead of getting pink in this in codominance, you would get a a flower with red and white uh, spots on it. Um, so the most classic example of this is with cattle. Um, so let's say we have a cattle with red fur. So remember, there's no so the only way to be red in this case, because since there's no um, recessive allele, is RR is crossed with a um, a cattle with white fur. So once again, since this is co-dominant, there's no recessive allele, so they have to be WW. If we do this cross, RW, um, RW, um, RW, RW, um, you'll see that you get 100% that will have red and white fur. So instead of getting pink fur, or pink cattle, that would be funny. Um, so instead of getting pink cattle, you get um, a cattle with both red and white fur. And just to sort of see what this looks like. Um, here's sort of an example. They call this color roan. I'll, I'll write it if I can. Roan. Um, 
where it has some fur that's red and then some fur um, that's white, that's a roan um, cattle um, there. So um, here we go again. So what is the expected phenotypic ratio? And I really only care about percentages here. When a roan cattle, so a roan cattle, so RW, um, is crossed with a red cattle. R, R. And we fill out the Punnett square. Kaiser, don't walk on the keyboard. Um, sorry, guys. R, um, W. R, R. And then R, W. So if we look from the Punnett square, 50% um, would be red. And then um, the other 50%, these two, would be roan, or that's red with like little sort of speckles of white um, in the fur. So this is sort of, um, sort of, sort of see the difference between co-dominance um, and incomplete dominance. Take a second and sort of, based on what we've learned, um, determine if these are co-dominant, um, these traits are co-dominant or incomplete dominance. So just take a second. So if we look at the first one, um, birds can be blue, white, or white with blue tip feathers, that's co-dominance um, because you're seeing both colors, Not it's not a blend. Um, for B, flowers can be white, pink, or red. Um, that's a blend, um, so that's incomplete dominance. Um, a sneech, and obviously these are made up, um, can be tall, medium, or short. That one you can argue about. Um, you're not really seeing both phenotypes. You can be both tall and short at the same time. Um, so um, that's incomplete dominance. A bleak so, whatever that is, can be spotted black or white. Since you're probably, if it's spotted, you're going to be seeing both the black and white phenotypes. Um, so that would be um, co-dominance. And then a mouse can be black, white, or gray. Um, since that's a blend, um, that is incomplete dominance. All right, so now I am done with the videos. Um, you now need to do, there's, I think it's four questions or five questions. It's a five question um sheet that has, that practices questions from the first video um, and then questions from this video. Um, and the last one is also, um, it's a dihybrid, I think, or trihybrid with one of the traits um, that has, uh, I think it's incomplete dominance in that case. Um, all work, I'm going to say this since in case you don't read my email, all work, all work, okay, needs to be handed to me at 745 on Tuesday. Or if it's a delay, which I think there might be, well, as soon as we get to school, I really need to look at the work, sort of see what we get and what we don't get. I am not going to accept it if you don't hand it in at 7.45. I'm going to give you a zero, and then if you did it, you did it for nothing. You really need to get me the work at 7.45, because I need to see it and look at it and plan what we're going to do in class that day. If we get this, I don't have to go over it. If you don't get it, then i got to go over it. You need to give me the work at 7.45. Um, okay. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>